Hi there and welcome to HMAC video. So HMAC stand for keyed hash message authentication code and it is defined in FIPS-198-1. So why we need keyed hash message authentication code because we want a way to check the integrity of the information that is transferred that is transmitted over the network or stored in an unreliable medium. So usually we send a lot of data over the net or we send uh, some information on storage devices. So this HMAC will ensure that the integrity of the message is not broken. So let's see what, what I'm trying to say is uh, given a HMAC illustration what what we have like uh, we have two components we have message a plain text message and we have secret key so when we combine these two we come up with a hash okay and we create a HMAC and what we will do we will transmit the message and the HMAC to the receiver so sender the sender is transmitted the message and transmitted the HMAC to the rec receiver. So on the receiver side, when receiver received the message, what it will do, it will calculate the hash HMAC of it with its own secret key. So this secret key must be known between these two party. Okay. And, and it will compare the value with the received HMAC. If these values are equal, then the message is authenticated and valid. So there is no alteration for the message. So what is the requirement for HMAC? We should have a message and we should have a secret key. So this is a general intro introduction. Typically message authentication codes are used between two parties that share a secret key in order to authenticate information transmitted between these parties. This standard defines a Mac that uses a cryptographic hash function in conjunction of with a secret key in order to authenticate information transmitted between these parties. So what are the uses of HMAC is like uh, the first use is very clear like uh, whenever you want integrity of the data maintained and authenticity. So the key is part of the HMAC. Since it is shared secret known between two parties only and only they can create the HMAC and no one else. So this will ensure the authenticity. So as we can, we have seen there are two parties involved, the sender and receivers, and they will say it secret that only these two party knows. So there is one more benefit is like uh, length extension attacks are not possible on HMAC. MAC on the other hand simply append key to the message which is susceptible to it HMAC was introduced to overcome this attack on Macs. So this is the main benefit why we use HMAC to avoid length extension attack. So let us see how HMAC is calculated using HMAC specification. So to, cal to calculate HMAC, The data text using HMAC function, the following operation will perform. So there will there is a one formula that will help to calculate the HMAC in formula of uh, creating a HMAC, where the term K is the secret key and K0 the key after any processing necessary pre-processing to form B byte array, and there is an exclusive OR operation happening here on opad value this is outer pad 
and this is iPad, its inner pad, the byte of x36 repeated b times. So this is the process, this is the formula to calculate the HMAC. Now let's see how the HMAC construction happen over the given key and given the byte array. So the entire algorithm falls in step 1 to step 9 and the final outcome is the step 9. So with a given key and given message first what we'll do from step 1 to step 3 we will try to find what is K0. K0 is the key after any necessary pre-processing to form a B byte key. So it based on the length if the key is greater than B or key is less than B or key is equal to B then we'll do the following step. So this is the step when key is equal to B, key is greater than B and key is less than B. Then we have to append, append the zeros or append the B minus L0. If the key is equal to B then key K0 will become the private key itself so after forming this key 0 we'll go to the step 4 so in step 4 what we'll do we'll exclusive or k0 with ipad to produce a b byte string you can see k0 uh, exclusive operation with ipad ipad is inner pad the byte x repeated b times so how many times we have to repeat the same bytes in this given step 4 then we'll move to step 5 and this append the stream of data text so this is the message what we have to the string resulting from the step 4 so whatever we got here we append the message here once we do that we apply h and we'll go to the step 5 so we uh, apply h here from the whatever result we got from the step 5 once we got this then this is uh, for step 7 where we directly reach from uh, k0 exclusively or k0 with opad Then the 8th step is the append the result from the step 6 to step 7. So now we'll what we'll do? We will append these two results, this result and this result. And finally we'll apply the H of the result what we got in the step 8. So this is how all the HMAC, this is how the HMAX is getting calculated. So there are a few examples how we can use HMAC in Bash uh, using OpenSSL or Eco command. So OpenSSL provides the digest of hyphen SHA and we are specifying we are going to use HMAC and you can give the key. So for this value and this given key this HMAC is produced. Uh, you can also use a open command without digest and directly with SHA1 and give the HMAC with a given key and given value. Uh, this is the value it produces, so both are same. If you are using PHP then uh, you can always echo the hash underscore HMAC function and give the value SHA, the algorithm, the value and key and it will produce the same value. Thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed the session. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do let me know if you have any question or comments. I will try to answer over the comment. Thank you.